Good day, mate. Good day. Now, as you can see, I've bought a couple of saws, and I don't know if I've got all the saws. I'm not sure at all. But let's just say it's cost me a fair bit of money and put a considerable dent in my saves. Now, that's correct. The G four four. That's right. The G two eight eight. That's not right. You know that. A G44, I think. Only a one, so I'm not sure why or two. Uh, G395, or two of them, but I'm not sure. A big boss. There's a G88, but I first like to say thank you guys who helped me out over time. Paul and Lisa from Marinda. If you are fuzzing your brain, you can't concentrate, having trouble sleeping, just can't deal with life. If it wasn't for this, I would have done myself here by now. It makes you think clearly. I brought, brought back my memory. It's just worth having. Anyway, I opened up one box today. Hopefully, it's the right box, and I'll talk about that. But um, on the next part of the video, I'm, look, in Australia, we have a thing called tall poppies. And um, we knock them down. But I'm not a tall poppy, I'm poor. a poor poppy. So, you yeah, know, be nice to me, guys. Be nice. I'd also like to say thank you for helping out my channel um, in bits and pieces and that Big from Bob's, uh, Michael Beers from Longer Chains and Bars without him doing what he's doing I couldn't do the different saws um, like I'm buying these saws at a powerhead but he provides a bar and chain so at a discount I'm still paying for them but if it wasn't for him I couldn't do it so it costs way too much but yeah thank you Michael be a good man, good man Mate, how are ya? Alright. Let's show you guys this. Huh? I've got my grandkids here, dogs are off, chooks. Uh. Now, I've been doing chainsaws for a long time, and everything I've been doing up till now has been leading up to this point of time, so I thought I'd just show you, but um, I'm, if I get enough positive results, uh, responses, I'm going to have a Patreon um, page, I think, because I can't afford anything, guys. It's, it's too dear as a hobby. But I do want to do something special. Hopefully this will do it. We might do this for a long, long time. I prove it can be done. You watch enough World War II movies and stuff, or stuff about World War II machines, you start getting ideas in your head. Will it work? Maybe. But I'm going to give it a crack. The old Australian knowledge of doing Australian know-how. We work things out. Either it's a hard way or not. But anyway, we work things out. So I'll tell you, guys. Can I come here, Eric? Eric, come here. Come here. He's my little cameraman. My grandson. My third grandson. There's some um, gaskets for my turbo. Now, other people can't say it can't be done, but I believe it can be done in a certain way. Over off the shelf parts almost, so it's, it can be done, but um, I, I need things like guys. I got the metal worker life, she got the working. I spent a fortune on uh, motors and all that. Um, I've got a bottle of acetylene, but no oxygen, so. Stuff like that I need to get, so I'll we'll just show you guys. It's only tiny, tiny, tiny one. Get it out. Done for up to, um, I think it was 250cc's, 100 horsepower. So that's why I got the, um, the clone um, MS-880 DA80. I bought this to the front of it. That's why I got the kit, because I got to reinforce the kit. But I think there's a way to um, add boost without destroying the saw. Um, um, slowly but nicely, um, not a full boost real quick, but a boost for once it comes up, oh hell yeah. Those saws can do 15,000 revs without blowing far as I know, but that's the max I take to. But they're 13,500 revs of what they're meant to be as far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, tiny little turbo, just nice little turbo. So I'll use the, um, the bar oil, so instead of going straight to the um, oil reservoir to the bar to lubricate chain, I'll go and pump it through the turbo first. And that will squirt the two chain. So that's the oiling um, procedure um, done. But uh, apart from that, there is a way to actually make. So you, you get the exhaust into here, exhaust comes out there, and your, um, your pressure goes through here. Oh, your fuel goes through here, pressure comes out here into the motor. But there's a way to um, minimize the way the transfer chambers work with the exhaust chamber. chamber. So I think I can do it, but I probably need a bit of monetary help. But um, guys, if it can be done, I want to see if I can get it done. It's bloody heavy. It's heavy, Eric. Heavy. But yeah, 
I'm just looking forward to this guy, so just look to us. I want to come close to show you guys. Get the sunlight for us. Sun, you're from the banana tree. It's getting a little cold, but the banana tree's starting to die. A little turbo there, that little thing. I can't spin so terrible, I can only get my finger in there. So my finger's not huge, but it's not really so skinny. So that's the, that's the outlet. There's where the fuel will go in, and the fuel will come out. So I've got things to work out, but I'm pretty well, I've worked out the oiling yeah. stuff. But yeah, it's going to be interesting, guys. But um, yeah, if you leave a comment, if you think I, I should um, get a Patreon page working or not, I'm not sure myself. But yeah, I'll, I just want to make this work. I don't want it to be powerful, but I want it to be, want it to be more like a, um, I don't know, the screen, but yeah, just more of a what, camera. I'll make a chair. I did want to go, uh, like, I want to hear the bush noise. I was just meeting it the um, other week. I'm using the same turbo on a um, 50cc saw, not saw, a 50cc quad spike for a kid, and they end up blowing the ass out of the, um, the motor. Now, to me, that was getting boost to do that. I know uh, set up or whatever, but to be able to boost a 50cc, I had to blow the ass out of the motor. Uh -huh. The uh, case of the uh, motor blew out, so it can be done, I think. It can be done quite easily. But better the way they're doing Better than what the way they, they do. Hey, guys. Look, I'm looking for a handy up and I need help. It's a little bit. Right, so say bye bye here. Say bye. Bye. So let's have a look on these boxes. And uh, we'll talk about the, what I've got. So I've got the um, parts today as well for the stud barn. Eric, come here, Eric. My little mate, mate's with me. It's a Friday. Say hello to the camera. Come here. Come here. Hello. Look, I think. Bye. Hello. Hello. Yeah, bye. And my grandson or one of them. Um, I got some parts for the uh, stud burner. And Farmatech is not the way they used to be. Farmatech got problems, I think. I got the piston, cylinder, I got the rings. <coughs> but no, wrist pin. Made me wonder where the wrist, wrist pin is going to. So, no wrist pin. It's coming today. Now, the hollow, so who knows how drugs are getting to Australia. I'm not saying they are for Farmatech, but. Undone this carefully, missing parts. So, I'm not using a piston, I'm using a steel piston. But this is why things are, guys. They have problems with the everything's on sale at the moment. Cheap if you want to put up the um, missing parts. I'll put that back in there. So, yeah, fix that saw very soon. Up there. There you go, my way. Now, the piston I've got. I ordered a um, free one, uh, free one, yeah, part. but it's actually um, a free 80. Now I'll show you what the difference is. Because I pulled valve by stall, I know the difference. Got different windows. Google bars. Look at that, Eric. Look at Move, move. Move. You got that. There's small windows. The Freddy one's got bigger windows, almost double the size of that. Lengthwise, the one knee tech is way bigger, up to about here. So I thought I'd get that, but that's a 380, not a 381. So I'm not happy with that, but it'll still work. But I'm lucky I won't be able to save the um, knee tech piston because the way this works is through the windows on this particular sub your point but um who knows my still use it depends on how the piston looks but well, I've got a part back in don't really care about that rings but is that part done but when you your brain starts to uh, fall apart and you understand the issue. You take this stuff here, three weeks later, it was like a light bulb came on. It really, I sat up and think, what the hell? It didn't get you high, it didn't keep you awake, it doesn't constipate you, it, just, it helps you out in a way I can't describe. It doesn't keep you awake. It's just, you have to try to understand what I'm talking about. And I don't believe in these things normally. 
That's unbelievable. There. All right. Now, I've probably got this wrong. I'm pretty sure I have actually. I'm not thinking about too much what I've actually opened up before. Turbo. This goes with that, I hope. The exhaust goes through that part there and comes out here because of the um, blow up valve in here. So, less pressure going through the exhaust this way means less spilling up as far as serves. So, I, I actually said this way, but it's not this way. The intake's that way and pops out here. So, carby here, I'll be putting the carby close to that and the uh, exit um, close to the actual intake on the saw itself. There's reasons for that, but I'll get that later on if people want me to. I was a cute product. Just go, here's the saw, here it works. Yeah. I want to know what's in this box. Is it what I think it is? Hopefully not. Hopefully it is. Just go, it's um, definitely come with um, gaskets too, so I'm still gaskets. I need to buy the other part for the gaskets, the flanges, so that's the next part I have to buy, but I'm going to do that for a while because gaskets are yeah, no existence now. And every one of these saws will be sold in the future with probably medial pistons or quality pistons like um, uh, highway pistons. Depends. I've, if I look at it and it looks good, it will get it. So, I'll, yeah, I'm opening these up once in a couple of days to see what's inside them. But I'm not sure what the box has got. The, I'd say the box has been done, so it's just a, a pile of boxes, I think. That's all what you have to do. But I don't say what's actually in the box. This could be too small, too short, isn't it? But it's pretty good. I do have a um, a Jean, um, a Jean three nine five, and a Neatech. Um, what do they call that? I'm not sure what they call them. It's still a three nine five. Build off soon. We're both gonna be big ball kits from Pharmacy. Look at the blunt. Everything, right? I'm gonna look after boxes. I don't do the boxes. Yep, yeah, well, good. So, this is gonna showcase the other saw I got the shed is a kit, kit saw. And I want to get this one here so I can get the kit saw and do them face to face. Show you how they work. Watch now. Look at that. Beautiful. And while I'm, I'm young enough to do this and strong enough, because the guys, I am getting old. And I am feeling my injuries. I'm not young. That's just it, mate. Yes, change off. So, I've got other parts here, it looks like. Paul Stutter. So it comes with an easy start, okay, yeah. A lasso start, it's different. Up there, okay. Big um, handle, pull handle, it's all right. I thought it'd be part of the saw. Comes with a big bag too, a he heavy duty bag. Must be dogs. Dogs, yep. Big, big dog too, little sort of that. Yeah, parts. What's that? Um, nuts. No, the part there is a plastic part, I'm sure what that's for. Screws, ring, uh, o ring. But they'll go with this saw here. Uh, scrunch, nuts and bolts for the um, dogs. Yeah, okay. Uh, nice little bag. Not as nice as the knee deck, I should say. It's really cheap here, it's like a, um, a thin thin blanket. So that's all parts of that six saw. Hang on, there's more. So it should be two. Side cover. I love that. So in Australia, we've got a big hardwood. I'll have some fun with this thing while I get going. But doing a turbo charge, one of these. I'll be putting the turbo here. I want to close to the intake, so the exhaust will come out. And I've got a trick for the front here, where the exhaust goes in to the pipe 
on how to make it work. I'm pretty sure it'll work. And it'll be off the shop parts and it'll be interesting. But I will need help on these things. I'm the setup, I'm the 100% setup to do this. But any help, it, you know, I've got to pay for your hobby. Just get buying fuel, like, I'm out of fuel. So, every video you've seen recently has been um, fuel pour from one store to another store. Make it work. This is a side cover. Nice thing, mate. Barber Tech. I'm glad to see that they're putting their name on stuff there. I'm not saying it's food and stuff like that. I'm not lying. If they're good ones, they should uh, be proud of them. A dog. Anyway, that's the idea, guys. That's the plan. So, every couple of days, I have to talk. Alright, guys. Over there. Thank you for watching. Thank you for considering. Anyway, if you do um, become my, part of my Patreon, I, I'm not asking much. Minimum, like, whatever, a dollar a month or whatever the hell it is. But yeah, just to make John pay for fuel and stuff like that. Anyway, guys, over now. Thank you for considering. I appreciate it. There's my grandkids.